Samsung just showed off their new Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6 phones at their Unpacked 2024 event last week. These are the only new foldable phones they've released this year. Earlier reports said Samsung might be making an Ultra version of the Galaxy Z Fold 6, but last week a rumor spread that this Ultra version was cancelled. Luckily, new information suggests that Samsung hasn't stopped working on it yet. So if you like the idea of an Ultra foldable phone, there's still hope. Our friends at Galaxy Club found new evidence that Samsung is still working on the mysterious Galaxy Z Fold model we're calling Ultra. They discovered that Samsung is testing new software for a device with the model number SMF958N. This test software is being used in countries with the codes KOO, KTC, SKC, and LUC. It's important to note that this test software wasn't on Samsung's servers last week, but is now. This means Samsung has made some progress with the Ultra model. However, there's never a guarantee that a product will be sold until it's officially released, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. Another thing to remember is that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra might be made just for the South Korean market. This isn't new information, but the firmware number and country codes found on Samsung's test servers make this idea more likely. All the country codes are for South Korea. Even if Samsung plans to release a new foldable phone, this mysterious Galaxy Z Fold device probably won't come out before the end of the year. Right now, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is the best foldable phone you can buy. But if you want a flip phone, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 is the best choice. The Fold 6 has a new slim design and impressive features like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip and a bright 2600 nits LTPO foldable AMOLED 2X display. This year, the Z Fold's hinge and armor aluminum frame are stronger and the foldable display crease is less noticeable. The phone now has an IP48 rating instead of IPX8. What do you think about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Also, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6 breaking pre-orders record in India. Samsung started taking pre-orders for their new foldable phones, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Galaxy Z Fold 6 in India last week. In just one week, the company announced that these phones have received more pre-orders than ever before. This is great news for Samsung because it means more people in India are interested in buying foldable phones. The Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Galaxy Z Fold 6 have gotten 40% more pre-orders in India than the previous models. Samsung shared this information on its official news page. These new foldable phones are now the most successful Galaxy Z series devices the company has ever launched in India. Now let's check the Galaxy Z Fold 6 versus Z Fold 5 comparison. Samsung just released the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and it's got some exciting updates. It has a fresh new design, smarter AI features, and the powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, just like the one in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Samsung has made improvements based on feedback from the Galaxy Z Fold 5. This new model is better built and has an IP48 rating, making it the first foldable phone to be both water and dust resistant. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is now available for pre-order and Samsung is offering great trade-in deals and Galaxy Store credit to encourage you to buy it. But you might be wondering if it's better to get a cheaper or used Galaxy Z Fold 5 instead. What's the difference between the two phones? And is it worth getting the new one if you already have the Z Fold 5? Design and Display Quality the foldable phone market has changed a lot since the first Galaxy Fold. Samsung has kept the cover screens tall and narrow, making them easy to use with one hand but not great for typing with two thumbs. Now Samsung has made the Galaxy Z Fold 6 a bit wider with a 22.1 to 9 external display compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5's 23 to 9. It's not a regular phone shape but it feels more comfortable to use. The main screen of the Z Fold 6 has also improved. It has more protective layers and a redesigned hinge making the crease in the middle less noticeable than on the Z Fold 5. The new shape of the Z Fold 6 with sharp corners gives it a modern look and feels like you have more space to work with. The Z Fold 6 comes in silver shadow, pink, and navy, with exclusive crafted black and white options on Samsung's website. The Z Fold 5 came in cream, phantom black, and light blue with exclusive blue and gray options. In the box of the Z Fold 6, you'll find a USB-C cable in the phone, but no charger or case, just like the Z Fold 5. Both phones have sturdy hinges, but the Z Fold 6 is more durable with an IP48 rating, making it resistant to both water and particles. The Z Fold 5 has an IPX8 rating, meaning it's only water resistant. The Z Fold 6 is slightly thinner when folded, which is nice because foldable phones can be bulky when closed. The screens on both phones are fantastic, with bright colors, deep blacks, and sharp resolutions. They also have dynamic refresh rates from 1 to 120 hertz, making everything look smooth. Performance and software. 
Samsung has been working closely with Qualcomm and now their flagship Snapdragon chipsets are specially made for Galaxy phones. This means they are a bit faster than the regular Snapdragon chips used in other Android phones. Samsung also uses this partnership to design better cooling systems for their phones. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 uses last year's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy, which is still a very powerful and efficient chip. The new Galaxy Z Fold 6 uses the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 mobile platform for Galaxy, the same chip found in the Galaxy S24 phones. It's a bit better than the Gen 2 chip, but the Z Fold 5 is still a very capable phone and can handle most tasks with ease. In terms of software, the Z Fold 6 comes with the latest Galaxy AI features in One UI 6.1 loan, including a new image generator that can turn your S Pen sketches into nice drawings. The Z Fold 6 also has a 7-year software update commitment, meaning it will get updates and security patches until 2031. The Z Fold 5, on the other hand, has a promise of 4 Android updates and 5 years of support, so it will stop receiving updates about 3 years earlier than the Z Fold 6. Camera Both the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Fold 5 have similar camera specs, a 50-megapixel main camera, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera, and a 10-megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom. On the front, both have a 10-megapixel selfie camera. Inside, they both have a 4-megapixel camera under the display, mainly for video calls. The main difference in camera quality might come from the software. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 has a provisual engine from the Galaxy S24, offering advanced features like an excellent viewfinder, generative editing, portrait shot editing, and slow motion video by holding the screen with a finger. Many of these features might also be available on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 through software updates. If there are any real differences in photo quality, it will likely come from how each phone processes photos after you take them. Battery life and charging. There haven't been any changes in the battery for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. It still has a 4,400 mAh battery, just like the Galaxy Z Fold 5. The battery life might be a bit different due to the new processor. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 had decent battery life, so this should be fine. Which one should you buy? Some might say the Galaxy Z Fold 6 isn't much different from the Z Fold 5. However, we appreciate the small design improvements and the 7-year software update commitment, which is a big plus for an expensive device like this. Because of these factors, we recommend buying the Galaxy Z Fold 6. But if you find an amazing deal on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 like a retailer clearing out old stock, it's still worth considering. The Z Fold 5 is very fast and powerful. It doesn't have the latest Snapdragon chip with its advanced AI features, but you can probably live without those. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.